making his way to the stage first. His professional record, 45 wins, one loss, with 32 wins by way of knockout, he is a former two-time world champion, representando Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, Saul El Canelo. gentlemen his professional record 40 victories four defeats 33 wins by way of knockout he is the current ring magazine and lineal middleweight world champion de Cabas, puerto rico miguel Angel Cardo. Sugar Ray Robinson once said, rhythm is everything in boxing. Every move you make starts with your heart, and that's in rhythm or you're in trouble. When you think about these two great champions that sit before you, Miguel Cotto and Canelo Alvarez, I think it's fair to say that everything they do comes from the heart. Because when they stepped into that ring on Saturday night, under the lights, of the Mandalay Bay Event Center and HBO pay-per-view. Not only will they be fighting for themselves and their own glory, but also for the pride and glory of their family, their fans, and their country. Come Saturday, they will add yet another chapter to the story boxing rivalry between Puerto Rico and Mexico. The culmination of months of preparation Everything they have done to this point has been rhythmic dance toward the inevitable confrontation. The training, the strategy, the interviews, the promotion, the pride, and commitment. All are very deliberate dance before these two future Hall of Famers finally stand toe to toe under the lights of America's playground. This is undisputably the fight of the year. It's one of the best dollar for dollar values in HBO pay-per-view history and is set up to be one of the greatest examples of boxing action and skill of the last decade. But this epic event would not have been possible without the hard work and support of so many. So I'd like to take this moment to thank the following people and organizations. Rock Nation's owners, including our chairman Jay-Z and president of sports Juan Perez, who shared their passion for boxing, which has led us to where we are today, just hours from one of the biggest events in the sports history. Rock Nation staff, and specifically the entire team at Rock Nation Sports and our boxing division, including Dave Iskowitz, Dino Duva, and Josh Roy, Miguel Cotto Promotions, Golden Boy Promotions, Canelo Promotions, Puerto Rican sensation Yendel for his upcoming live performance on Saturday night, and our partners and sponsors for this great evening of entertainment. Corona Extra, the movie Creed, Mexico, Live It to Believe It, O'Reilly Auto Parts, who also has also worked with Fathom to make the fight available in select theaters around America. Tequila Cazadores, corporate travel made simple, CTMS, and Cabal Premium Mexican Wine. MGM Resorts International, and Mandalay Bay, and of course, Richard Stern. HBO Pay-Per-View and their leadership of Ken Hirschman, Mark Taffet, and Peter Nelson. Closed circuit distributor Joe Hand, who has worked with Mandalay Bay 
to make the flight available for viewing on site for only $75 a ticket. And last but not least, the incredible staff at Mandalay Bay that has truly rolled out the red carpet for us this week. Speaking of people who helped make this fight a reality, I would now like to introduce a great fighter and a great fight promoter, Golden Boy Chairman and CEO Oscar De La Hoya. Thank you very much, Michael. Muchas gracias. Gracias por estar aquí. Thank you for all being here. There's nothing like Fight Week. I've been participating in these events for longer than I can remember, and it never gets old. And today, I am confident that we have a fight in store for the fans that is going to compete with all the all-time great battles that this city has ever seen. Miguel Cotto versus Canelo Alvarez, Puerto Rico versus Mexico, puncher versus puncher, young lion against an older lion. This fight has all the makings of an instant classic for the lineal middleweight world championship. And at least for Canelo, the WBC world championship. But regardless of what belt are on the line, Cotto versus Canelo will deliver everything fans want to expect to see in the ring. Action, intensity, and power. Before we go further, I want to quickly thank some people who made this event possible. First of all, uh, HBO. This will be Canelo's second fight on the networks and signing an exclusive agreement with HBO. Last September, HBO wants to show the best fights. Fights that pit the best against the best and it's the best network in the world for boxing. I'm pleased Cotto versus Canelo will be televised live on HBO pay-per-view, and I'm proud of the relationship that Golden Boy Promotions has with everyone in the HBO family. Also, thank you to our sponsors for their support, Corona Extra, Mexico Live It To Believe It, O'Reilly Auto Parts, Tequila Casadores and corporate travel made simple. Now let's talk about a little bit of the uh, rivalry between Puerto Rico and Mexico. This fight between Cotto and Canelo represents the next super fight in the long-standing Mexico-Puerto Rico rivalry. An intense rivalry that dates back to the 1930s. Between Cotto and Canelo, they have six world titles more than any other two fighters in the history of the Mexico versus Puerto Rico rivalry. A title fight between two supreme athletes and a long-standing rivalry between their home countries all points to this, to this being an incredible fight and one that boxing needs at this time and one that the fans deserve. See you here at the Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino. If you can't make it in person, don't miss it on HBO pay-per-view. It is my pleasure now to introduce to you the president of the WBC, Mauricio Suleiman. Good afternoon, muy buenas tardes. What we do in life goes an eternity. That was said by Maximus, the gladiator. And what we can say is that we're responsible for what we do, and we have to be proud, and we have to walk tall. I am extremely proud for this fight to happen. It took many years. It's a fight that many fights, many fight fans wants to see all over the world, and I am sure it's gonna be a great event. The reason for all of us to be here is to celebrate this highly anticipated match between two icons. Canelo Alvarez, Miguel Cotto, representing their countries, representing their legacy, and their pride to see who's gonna win on Saturday night. 
I am very happy to see very dear faces. Mr. Richard Stern, who is one of the greatest assets that boxing in, in the world has. HBO, my friends from HBO, uh, the two promotions. I had a great pleasure to travel with them to New York, Los Angeles, Puerto Rico, and Mexico. I enjoyed this tour very much. And I'm just very proud that the WBC was able to work tirelessly for two years to make sure that the fight happened for the fight fans of the world. I would like to wish both fighters the best of luck. Both of them are very good friends of the WBC, very good friends of the Suleiman family. May God bless them and may the best band win on Saturday night. Thank you very much. As I mentioned earlier, this historic event would not have been possible without the commitment and the support of MGM Resorts International, the Mandalay Bay Event Center. Las Vegas is truly the spiritual home of all big boxing events. And I want to sincerely thank MGM Resorts President of Sports and Entertainment, Richard Stern, for his passion for the sport and vision to host this incredible match right here at Mandalay Bay. It is now my honor to introduce Richard to say a few words about the event and his amazing facility. Thanks very much, Michael. Good afternoon, everyone, to the media, in attendance and the thousands of fans watching worldwide. We are excited to host this highly anticipated clash of these two champions. It's a pleasure to host Miguel Cotto and Canelo Alvarez at Mandalay Bay, as they both will undoubtedly bring a high level of intensity into the ring Saturday night. With these two warriors returning to Las Vegas, they will uh, provide fans with an exciting evening of world-class boxing. Uh, I'd like to give a special thanks to Michael Yormark and the entire Rock Nation sports team, Oscar De La Hoya and the Golden Boy promotion staff, Team Cotto, Team Alvarez and their respective teams, our good friends at HBO, and Bob Bennett of the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Once again, thanks everyone for being here. Look forward to seeing you Saturday night. Uh, it's going to be one of the great fights of the year. Thank you. While the team at MGM Resorts International prepares to deliver an epic live boxing and entertainment experience to the fans on Saturday night, it'll be Mark Taffet and his team at HBO pay-per-view that will deliver this legendary matchup to the people watching at home and in the sports bars across America. I must, applaud, I must applaud the entire team at HBO for their commitment to this fight, but also for their foresight in presenting the best dollar-for-dollar -dollar pay per view value possible. It is truly a testament to HBO's commitment to the sport and its very passionate fan base to make Saturday's can't-miss fight accessible to the masses. Clearly, we all think Cotto Canelo is going to be one of the most action-packed, can't-miss fights of the last decade. And thanks to HBO, we expect a massive television audience on Saturday night. So now, please welcome to the podium a businessman that I truly admire and respect, Senior Vice President of HBO Sports Operations, Mr. Mark Tappen. To, uh, to us Latinos, to us Hispanics, whether you're Mexican-American, whether you were born here in the U.S., to the Mexican nationals, to Puerto Ricans, to all Latinos all over the world, you must understand 
This is our Super Bowl. This is, this is an event that not one Latino, not one Hispanic is going to miss. This is how important this fight is to us. This is how important this fight is to the fighters. Mexico versus Puerto Rico is like no other event for the Mexican national, for the Puerto Rican living in New York from Puerto Rico, the island, La Isla del Encanto. This is our Super Bowl, and this is how important this event is. Este evento es sumamente importante para, para nosotros latinos, para nosotros hispanos, sea mexicano de México, sea puertorriqueño, sea el puertorriqueño que vive en Nueva York, el México americano que vive en California, en Texas, en Chicago. Esta pelea para nosotros es lo mismo comparado a un Super Bowl, por ejemplo. Esta es nuestro evento que ni un mexicano, ni un puertorriqueño, ni un México americano se va a perder. Esto es lo que significa. Este evento es tan importante para nosotros, por eso es tan grande este evento para nosotros. It is my pleasure to introduce to you a man who knows a thing or two about the middleweight division and about making a record 20 defenses. He's a future Hall of Famer and I'm proud to call him my partner and friend, the great Bernard Hopkins. Bernard. Trust me, I'm going to be short. <laughs> First, I'd like to thank everybody up here, Freddie Roach, Mr. Stern, everybody up here, my friends, Suleiman, WBC, well-respected, first title. Um, the boxing recognized and boxing people in the business recognize it and I respect it, and always will. Bragging rights. Now we're in a sport that we all know, like any sport, you want to be the best and you want to say you're the best, but you know, you want to prove it too. Very few really prove it the way that they talk it. So I'm just, first of all, I want to thank Cotto and also Canelo, because without them wanting to fight, we've seen this over and over, and, and we wind up hearing soap operas about why fights don't happen. If the fighters want to fight and they have a control over their life and their destiny and where, where they want to be and what they want to be recognized at, they'll make the fight and we have that. So that's a plus not only for their career and their legacy, but it's, it's a plus for boxing. It's a plus for boxing in a lot of ways through mainstream sports, mainstream business people, that's not in our sport, but watch our sport, for good or bad reasons. So I'm glad to be a part of the middleweight division. Uh, at this time, the middleweight division is something, as you know, is dear to me. And it's something that I always tell people, it started from the middleweight division. My foundation, my history, my legacy, started from 160. And as Oscar mentioned, you know about the defenses. You know about 12 years, 11 and a half years, I reigned as a middleweight champion. And to see that the middleweight division, that I have a extremely biased uh, uh, opinion about because I respect it so much that I stayed there so long and, and, and made the best that I can and even above that. Um, thanks, Miguel. Thanks, Colo, for giving us, I mean, Canelo for giving us this mega fight that's coming up at the end of the year. Now I pay attention to math and I pay attention to the year. And boxing always seemed in the last few years start off real big. Everybody's talking. And then it sort of fades into never, never land sometime at the end of the year in a long time. And for a long time, people asked me back in Philly where there's a big pay-per-view market there in breweries that like 
Big fights like this. Love it. When the next big fight? Next year? This year, I responded with the October fight, Lemieux and Triple G. And now, this fight coming up Saturday on HBO pay-per-view. I don't know, maybe y'all keep the score. It's been a long time since we had two or three mega fights, Mr. Suleiman, in one year. In one year. And they don't have to get a second mortgage to watch these fights. They can buy these fights and be proud that they got a chance to support their countrymen. So thanks again. And you know what? If anyone thinks that boxing, for some reason, in the last year and a half, because I had to do so many interviews, that boxing is somehow forgotten about, this is why boxing is not forgotten about and never will. Thank you. Thank you, Bernard. And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you Team Canelo. First off, I am pleased to introduce to you a man who uh, has been with Canelo for since the beginning of his career as an amateur, as a professional. He is the head trainer for Saul Canelo Alvarez, Eddie Reynoso. Eh, buenas tardes a, a todos los aquí presentes. Good afternoon to everyone. Y antes que nada, pues felicitar aquí al, a Saúl por, por todo el empeño y la dedicación que mostró en, a, a lo largo de todo el campamento. And I also want to congratulate Saúl for his dedication, for all the hard work and everything he did, all the sacrifices he put throughout camp. Eh, gracias a eso logramos una gran preparación y pues solo decirles que el sábado estamos listos para ganar el segundo título del organismo más prestigioso en el boxeo que es el Consejo Mundial de Boxeo. Muchísimas gracias. And to let everybody know, and to let everyone know that we're prepared, that we're ready to win our second world title, WBC title, on Saturday night, November 21st. Thank you very much. Also, I'd like to welcome up to the podium, he is the manager and co-trainer for Saul Canelo Alvarez. He is Chepo Reynoso. Muy buenas tardes a todos ustedes. De veras, gracias por su asistencia, por todo lo que están apoyando a esta gran función. Good afternoon to everyone. I want to thank you for your assistance and thank you all for the support that you're doing for this great event. En el equipo de Canelo tenemos un principio que dice lo que se hace bien no puede salir mal. In the team, in the Canelo team, we have a saying that starts by saying what you do right cannot have a bad outcome. Durante 14 semanas trabajamos Con entusiasmo, no hubo un día que nos levantáramos sin esa alegría, sin ese entusiasmo, sin esos deseos de avanzar, de, de, de progresar, de ver el 21 de noviembre al Canelo con el brazo en alto. Ningún día nos levantamos de mala, siempre con el entusiasmo, con el optimismo, con los deseos de trabajar. We worked very hard during 14 weeks in camp, and not one day was it without enthusiasm, motivation, hard work, and knowing that everything was going to pay off on November 21st when we saw Canelo's hand raised in victory. Pero ahora, después de 14 semanas, vemos los resultados. Vemos a un Canelo como nunca, con ese entusiasmo, con esa ilusión, con esos deseos de ser el más grande. And now, after 14 weeks of hard work, we see him. We're a few days away with the same enthusiasm 
with the same motivation to be big, to be the champion, to be one of the best. En el equipo de Canelo también decimos, las peleas se ganan en el gimnasio. En el cuadrilátero solo te levantan la mano y eso va a pasar el sábado. Muchas gracias. And also another saying that we have in the team, the fights are won in the gym. In the ring, they're just going to raise your hand. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you Saturday night. Thank you very much. And now, I'd like to introduce to you former two-time super welterweight world champion. At just 25 years old, he has already conquered much of the boxing world. He has captivated fans around the world with his action-packed fighting style, with his charisma, and with his willingness to take on the toughest challenges. And obviously this is no exception. He last fought James Kirkland in front of 31,000 people at the Minimate Park in Houston, where he had an incredible, impressive knockout in the third round. Many say that can be the uh, knockout of the year. I would like to introduce to you De Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. He is the Mexican superstar, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Bueno, no, solamente quiero agradecerles todo el apoyo que me han brindado, que le han brindado a la función. Well, I just want to thank you all for all the support that you've given me and the support you've given this great event. Agradecerle a toda la gente el recibimiento que me dan a cada una, a cada uno de los lugares que voy. Eh, estoy muy agradecido con todos ellos. Also, the reception that everyone, each and every one of you give me everywhere I go, I'm very grateful to you. Hice una gran preparación. Ya, gracias a Dios, estamos a, a días de la pelea. Eh, solamente esperando con ansias y a la misma vez eh, paciencia para que llegue el día y subirme a hacer mi trabajo y, y, y al final de la pelea que me levanten el brazo. I've had a great preparation, worked very hard, anxious, we're only a few days away, but patiently waiting for Saturday night to have my hand raised once again. Será una gran pelea, lo sé, es un, una pelea muy dura, pero estamos listos para este gran reto que tenemos enfrente y estoy muy motivado por esto. Muchas gracias a todos por el apoyo. It's going to be a difficult fight, I know that, but that's why I prepared properly and we're ready to give you a great, great fight. Thank you to everyone. Thank you, Saúl. Before uh, Michael Yormar calls up uh, Team Cotto, um, I just received a message with all the uh, controversy surrounding his comments. Even Donald Trump is going to buy this fight. Imagine that. So that's how big it is. Michael? Thank you for that news, Oscar. Um, for now, we introduce Team Cotto. One of the things that I truly admire about a champion like Miguel Cotto is his sense of family and his sense of team. He, know that he's, he knows that he's only as good as the team around him. And in Hector Soto, he has one of the most passionate, experienced, and sincere men in the entire boxing industry. Hector is truly a class act. And one of the big reasons Miguel has all of the success he has achieved in his career. So it is my honor to introduce from Team Cotto, Hector Soto. Buenas tardes a todos. Good afternoon, everyone. Quiero agradecer a nuestro socio Ron Nation, a Golden Boy Promotion, a Canelo Promotion, 
por hacer realidad este evento a HBO Pay Per View y, y al señor Tom por estar aquí en la, en la tarde de hoy. I want to say thank you to Rock Nation, to Golden Boy Promotions, Color Promotions, Canelo Promotions, HBO, and Mr. Stern from the Mandalay Bay. Thank you. Agradecer también la presencia de nuestro amigo Mauricio Sulaimán por estar aquí en la tarde de hoy. I also want to say thank you to our friend Mauricio Sulaimán for being here present this afternoon. En de, de este sábado van van a ser ustedes testigos. De, de lo que yo diría la, la mejor pelea en los pasados 10 años. This Saturday, all of us will witness probably the best fight in the last 10 years. Eh, Miguel Cotto, en los pasados 8, 8 semanas, ha trabajado duro y este próximo sábado veremos los resultados de, de este gran trabajo por esta gran pelea. Muchas, muchas gracias a todos y buenas tardes. For the last eight weeks, Miguel Cotto has trained very hard to get ready for this fight. So thank you, everybody, and we'll see you Saturday night. Miguel Cotto once said that Freddie Roach is Scotty Pippen to his Michael Jordan. That should tell you all you need to know about Freddie's influence on Miguel's performances in the ring since they joined forces in 2014. Simply put, Freddie Roach is a legend in the fight game. And as fans, we are so lucky to see him ringside, as we are to see champions like Cotto and Canelo inside the ring. Now, I know Freddie has a very specific strategy in mind for this upcoming fight, as well as a very bold prediction. So hopefully, he's willing to share some of those thoughts with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, the legendary Freddie Roach. Uh, thank you. Um, Miguel's had a great training camp. Um, worked very hard for this fight. I'd like to thank Team Cardo, uh, everyone that was involved. Thank you for all your help. And uh, we're 100% ready for this fight. The biggest fight of the year, and um, Miguel's ready. I've never seen him be better than this. Thank you. I have worked in the sports and entertainment industry for over a quarter of a century. And I have worked with and t spent time with athletes in nearly every sport. I have never, I repeat, never seen an athlete as committed to performing the task in front of them 